Hello, dear friends. Modern beef processing plants are multi-million dollar U.S. beef production lines that are incredible examples of advanced technology and innovation in livestock farming and food processing. The modern assembly lines of the industries are equipped with automatic machines. First, we will take you to some of the largest cow farms in the U.S. to see how the cows here are raised and cared for. Grass is the main natural food. It contains beneficial fiber and vitamins, promotes digestion, and supports immunity. Their diet needs to be carefully considered and varied to ensure optimized and adequate nutrition. On every large farm, the ranchers will plant an extra field of grass next to it. Harvesting grass to store food for cows is also very important. The grass will be cut neatly, and then the collector will collect it into blocks and bring them to the farm storage facility. On these modern farms, modern livestock support machinery is used throughout the process until the cows reach adulthood. The robot system for taking hay and mixing hay is all automated without the need for human intervention. The feeding robots have feeding times set and automatically bring hay mixed with grain to the cows. Not only that, the robot that helps clean the barn is also automated. The farm owner's job is just to transport them and let them work. They will orient themselves to move and clean up cow waste. When cows gain between 1100 and 1540 pounds, they are taken to the processing plant. On these farms, specialized trucks for transporting cows will arrive. In the truck, the floor is covered with a layer of straw to prevent the cows from slipping. The cows were put into the car's compartments one by one until they were full. begin to bring them to the processing plant. When passing near the gate, the disinfectant spray system works, spraying on the undercarriage system. Very quickly, they are taken to the processing plant. In addition, in areas near rivers, ranchers here often use boats to transport instead of trucks and run long distances. Let's see how they transport by boat. After being brought to the factory, the workers here will put them into support machines that will make them lose consciousness so they don't feel pain. Next, 
It will also be hung up to begin skinning. Next, the organs are also removed. The remaining cow carcass will be run through a robotic machine. The robot arm will cut along the spine of the cow carcass to separate it into smaller pieces for easier inspection of meat quality. And the job of this operator is just to monitor the robot's operation. In the next step, the worker will check again and cut off any remaining fat. Next, large pieces of beef will be put into the cooling room to cool down and drain before going to the next step. Thanks to the pulley system, workers do not need to exert too much effort to move such large slabs of beef. This is the factory's cooling room. Each such large slab of beef weighs about 500 to 800 pounds. After about two to four hours, workers will take their temperature. When the temperature of the beef cuts falls below 4 degrees Celsius, they will be labeled and sent to the next processing stage. This is the processing system of this factory. The workers will be divided into different stages. Each part of the beef will be cut and divided into stages. These workers will divide the meat into pieces of relatively equal weight to transfer them to the packaging stage. The pieces of beef will be placed on trays. These trays will run into the packaging system and then be labeled and delivered to consumers. Due to consumer demand, this processing plant also creates drunk beef products. The beef is cut into small pieces and then ground in a modern machine system. After finishing, they are molded and run along the conveyor belt. The cutting unit will cut each portion of ground meat evenly and push them into trays for packaging. So every day, this factory can process tens of thousands of trays of meat to export to supermarkets and stores. In the following sections, we will introduce you to even more special and unique things. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel for more useful information. And now, let's watch the next video together. Do you like to eat pork dishes? In today's video, let's learn about modern technology pig raising process from the slaughterhouse and pork processing plant. If you're interested in processing agricultural topics, please subscribe to our channel to follow the latest programs. During the gestation period, they are raised in a separate barn area so that farmers can take care of them more easily. This is a portable ultrasound device to check the health of the soul during pregnancy and ensure the normal growth of the piglet. When conducting an ultrasound, the doctor uses the ultrasound head to approach the pig's belly. The indicator and images will appear on a small screen for them to observe. Pigs will be vaccinated when they are young to prevent diseases. First, health workers need to separate the piglets from the mother pigs. These piglets are then vaccinated by doctors. There are quite a few vaccines that pigs need to be vaccinated during adulthood, including blue ear vaccine, 
cholera vaccine, mumps vaccine, swine pneumonia vaccine. Cleaning the pig stay is very important in caring for pigs and keeping them healthy. Regular cleaning of the cage can prevent bacteria and fungi from growing in the barn, preventing diseases and infections for pigs. These are some of the chemicals used to clean the pig stay. Medical staff need to calculate and measure the correct dosage to ensure safety in the cleaning process. After preparing the solution mixture, they will start the process of cleaning the pigs and the pig stay. The time when the pigs are released from the barn depends on many factors including age, weight, breed, and purpose of raising pigs. For normal pigs, the time for slaughter is usually 5 to 6 months old, for female pigs, and 6 to 7 months old for boars. When the equipped weight and health standards are met, the pigs will be released from the barn and transported to the pork slaughterhouse. There are many pork slaughterhouses in the world. It is usually concentrated in areas near the livestock farm and near the source of consumption. However, slaughterhouse must comply with regulations on food hygiene and safety and ensure product quality and consumer health. According to statistic sources, worldwide pork consumption is estimated at about 118 million tons in 2021. In which China is the world's largest producer and consumer of pork. In the US alone, pork production is estimated at about 11.4 million tons in 2021, ranking second after China. Pigs are hung on transport hooks. They are then dipped in the bath of hot water for about a minute and then put on an automatic rotating device to kill bacteria and clean the blood. Next, these pigs are incinerated with a torch and rinsed with clean water. This step helps to remove the pig hair. Now it's time for the staff to start cutting the pork. The pig will be carried out abnormal surgery to remove the internal organs first. After that, these pigs continue to be washed with water to clean the blood. After completing the basic processing steps, these pigs are pushed into a cold storage for preservation before proceeding to further processing steps. This is the pork cutting area. The staff will first put these large pieces of pork into a cutter to break the meat into pieces. These pieces of meat are then pushed onto the conveyor belt. The employees at each position of the conveyor belt will perform their own task. They took turns sorting the meat and cutting out the unnecessary parts. For hard bones, staff can use a saw to cut the bone. Repeat until the end of the chain. That's the whole process of raising and processing pork in today's video. Thank you for taking the time to watch. If you love this video, please leave a like, 
comment and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to regularly update good agricultural programs.